I'm a Bobby girl in a Bobby world. All I've in plastic is fantastic. Things in plastic can be fantastic. How do I know? Well, I got myself a trivia song, Monk's Blast. Yes, it's highly, highly plastic, except for the grill. You see what I've done? I've removed the grill. Do you know what else I can do? That bar in the middle that gives you the lights. If we turn it on. It gives you a lovely glow in the white, but all you've got to do is pull it out. Oh, <laughs> he's actually got so far in, I can't get it. That's unbelievable. I, I've actually done this a million times, and this is the first time he's actually gone all the way back in, and I can't pull it out. I'm going to have to go back and do this. Like, let's try it this way around. There we go. And all you got to do is take out a couple of screws. Yes, it's a couple of screws. When has that not been a good thing? And here we are. We just got to pull it out like that. And job done. Very easy. Pry the top off. Just try not to bend it like I do. Take that off. And there you go. Well, what's the point? Uh, all right, you're taking off the grill. You're taking away the lights. And we're not old, your files. And therefore, we love our lights. I'll tell you why. Because we've had a bit of a conundrum. What's a conundrum? When we can't work things out. So here's the thing. Really, really nice speaker. About, what is it? About 170 quid. Something must be equivalent in dollars at the moment, depending on whether it's in stock or not. Fantastic, fantastic value. Almost a JBL boombox killer. Who could ask for more at the, we've been waiting for years for JBL boombox killer at half the price. And we finally get it. And yes, it's a little bit plastic. And yes, it's got lights. And the other fuzzers say, oh, I can't buy that, it's got lights. And I say, just turn the lights off. But hey ho, what do I know? I'm just a geezer sitting here with a plastic speaker, taking the grill off. So the point was, I'm trying to tell you why I have done that. The reason is, Daddy, chill. Really, really nice speaker, lots of deep, lovely bass. But we had this 5.5 kilohertz dip. It's a bit of a mystery. Bit of uh, discussions, is it a crossover? It's slightly high for a normal crossover. Could be the crossover. Could be the tweeters wired the wrong way round. Um, it could be deliberate, or it just could be the limitations of the speaker. But I wanted to take it apart and really see if anything, now here's the point. Diffraction, we've talked about it a lot lately, and I never used to talk about it at all. But it, it's it's come to the fore because, look, first of all, we got that in front of the woofers. You think that must be making a difference. But of course, 5.5 kilohertz. You're thinking, yeah, it's probably not a woofer issue, but I wasn't sure. I, maybe, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's got a weird crossover, or maybe they forgot about a crossover. Um, they're a bit small for four-range drivers, but it is possible. You know, you have four-range drivers with a big woofer and all that. I've told you before, I'm not a DIYer, and you're probably coming in and slaughter me now. But here's here's the thing. I was really curious. What is the crossover on that? So I have taken it apart, uh, which I don't normally do because I, I do tend to mess them up really, really bad. And that means if I come and sell it now, I'm going to have to say, but you'll have to stick the grill on. But <laughs> that's me not being a DIYer, not doing this enough. I don't take the time to take it all apart so it all comes away nicely. I just went, dun, 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 get the grill off. So what did I find out? So let me, let me explain to you. I've looked at what the crossover is going to be. I've looked at what just the woofers are doing, what just the tweeters are doing. And so I'm doing these on clearly near field to get rid of all the other influences. When it comes to diffraction or, and, and problems with baffle and stuff like that, when you do near field measurements, it, it's inside that. So what is diffraction? I, I, sometimes we talk about these things that everybody knows. It's when, you, it's when it's hitting the, normally, so if it's, if it's a baffle, it's hitting the edge of the baffle or the front of the speaker, creating new waves identical to the first, and so you're gonna get cancellations and peaks. And also f as it hits your ears, you're gonna hear phase differences because the same thing is, hit, is hitting your ears at different timings. So it's about sound waves, but sound waves, but when you do near field measurements, you're, you're inside where all that is happening as it's coming towards your ears and hitting walls and stuff. So when we do near field, if we still have that issue, we know it's not really diffraction, but maybe there's a little bit going on. The tree is set a little bit back. You know, there is an edge there to hit. It's not like a uh, bookshelf or town speakers it's nicely flush or it will be it will be seated in a way they've already taken into account 
um, any diffraction and baffle issues. Indeed, this is offset, and they do often offset the tweeters and the woofers um, to minimize these issues. Anyway, a, a waffle, waffle, waffle as usual. I'm just gonna show you what I found and where we are now with the 5.5 kilohertz, and indeed, it, where is that crossover? Is there a proper crossover? And I'm also gonna actually tell you um, where the passive radiators are tuned. So the brown line is the Tribbett Stormbox Blast in music mode, default mode, with the grill on, with the light bar for the woofers in place. You can see the issue, it's the 5.5 kilohertz dip. And the question is, has its physical makeup got anything to do with contributing to that 5.5 kilohertz dip? Have removed the grill, have removed the light bar that covers the woofers, and I've measured separately the woofer and the tweeter. So first of all, we can see the crossover point about 3.3, 3.5 kilohertz. That is classic crossover territory. So the 5.5 kilohertz dip has nothing to do with the woofers, nothing to do with the grill, because we can see when we look at the tweeter, we still have that dip. So it's the tweeter that is dipping, even when measured without the grill on. And by the way, this, the, the measurements for the woofer and the tweeter are also in music mode, which is why it's upper bass slanted there. And if you want to look at the passive radiator, we can see measuring in front of the passive radiator, we've got a peak, 53 hertz. And that is where the passive radiator is tuned to, around the 53 hertz mark. So the 5.5 kilohertz dip, we know is a tweet to the issue. It could be a little bit of diffraction due to its placement in the corner and a little bit set back from the front of the speaker. Or it could be deliberate, but you would hope not or it's a limitation of the tweeter itself. So we're right inside, we're right up to the drivers. We're getting rid of, you know, all the other outside influences. I'm saying maybe there's some diffraction with that tweeter, even though I'm doing it right up near fields. Um, because look, it's, it's right by that edge. And actually one of the, the clips for the metal grill is protruding towards the edge of that tweeter. I don't, so I don't know, it, it, it could be, Something other than diffraction, and I'm saying it could be limitations of the tweeter, a little bit of diffraction that we're still picking up even though we're near fields, or it could be intentional. A dip there is gonna make it sound a little bit warmer than it would otherwise. However, probably, probably not intentional. Probably, it's the, probably I would say it's a limitation of the tweeter. There's an issue there with the tweeter. But it's good news that it's just the tweeter. We could certainly, if you're going third party, you can EQ it. It's, it's a lot higher. So there's a lot more issues if you try to EQ, EQ something that's where the frequency is, it's right, right in the crossover, for instance, and, you're, and it's spread across drivers. This is on the tweeter. So now we know. We know where we are uh, with the woofers. We know where the crossover is. It's absolute classic, isn't it? It's just under that 3.5. So basically 3.5 kilohertz, absolutely classic. There is, a there is a crossover. It's where we would expect it. The passive radiator we know is now around 53 hertz. Um, and that's basically it. That, the whole video was to tell you basically a couple of little things like that. But for me, it was interesting. And I know for some of you out there, it, it's been a conundrum. And n now we, we know to say this 5.5. Is not an issue with just mine. All the Tribbett Stormbox Blasts have that dip. Aww. It's obviously not the fact that they've why the tweet are the wrong way around. Look, you, by mistake, I'm saying, it, it could be reversed. Polarity, obviously we're talking about. But all these things would be done at design stage. It would be things they've taken into consideration. We just, all, up, all we know is, well, I'm, if it's not a limitation of the tweeter, it's not a deliberate um, mis miswiring of, of the tweeters, we know that. Anyway, but that's basically it. I'm, I'm trying to make it exciting, and we're, I can't make it any more exciting than that. Just to say, it was easy to, to uh, take this apart. Questions have been answered. That's what happens when you drink too much. Never drink too much. How do you know you drank too much? You don't, that's the problem, isn't it? You don't know till next morning. Isn't that weird? Yeah, you, you, you can never know without hindsight if you've drunk too much. And it's of course, your wife is sitting next to you. She's stone cold sober and she'll be telling you, you've had far too much to drink, you stop drinking. So that would be your early warning signal to my wife and your marriage. Stop drinking. Thank you for watching this. I hope it's 
told you something that we was interested in. A lot of you may not even realize there's a 5.5. We're saying it's, it's an issue because it's right in the presence region. It's gonna affect clarity. And if there's one thing about this, we would just like a little bit more uh, in terms of that clarity. So we can only dream of, um, of being pushed. I don't think it's probably make that much of a difference. It, you know, it's not, the size of the, of the dip is not, is not that wide. So, you know, in how, because of the way we hear, maybe not that much of an issue. I, I haven't actually tried to EQ on a third party app at this point. Maybe I should, I don't even have to use an app really. I could just do it on, on the recordings themselves, just EQ that section and have a listen. Why didn't you do that? Oh, I've got no idea. <laughs> Sometimes I don't think these things through. I sit down and think, right, let's chill out. Let's have a little drink. Someone asked me, what, what, what you got in your cup? I've got to say tea, haven't I? But maybe, maybe it's not just tea. Maybe I'm sitting here, I'm chilling out. And that's all I want to do until I read some of the comments. You get, which is getting a little bit uh, spicy these days. Sometimes I say bring it on, and sometimes it just gets a bit wearing. I've got to be honest. And still, 90% of them are all about one speaker, and that's the reason that one speaker. I won't be touching that until it's all died down, and that's what they don't realise. But anyway, that's been another video. Maybe you'll watch another video, and maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe. Maybe, baby. That was a, do you, Buddy Holly. Does anyone else out there ever listen to Buddy Holly apart from me and two geezers down the pub? Uh, you know, alongside Elvis, they gave birth to, where would the Beatles be without Buddy Holly? Who do they state as their influence, Buddy Holly? Anyway, you probably don't even know who the, but I, I, I was talking to my nephew a long time ago, but it was a shocker. I talked about the Beatles, even the Beatles. It's like, you realize time is moving on. The clock does not stand still. but sometimes the YouTube algorithm does and uh, it's slow progress. But I thank you for watching. See you another time, I hope.